Moodle is great for sort of supporting and managing the teaching and learning activities. But what it can also be used for is some of the logistics that a teacher might have to go through when running a course. And one of the simplest things that is really easy to set up and saves loads of time for the teacher is if you need to set up one to one bookings with students for whatever reason. It could be like parents evenings and booking the time slots that you speak to each student and parent. It could be if they need to do like a one to one presentation or if they need to do a Viva or if you're doing like um, tutorial slots where they want to come in and have a help with assignments. If you set the mechanism up in Moodle, it then manages the bookings for you and it just takes one activity or one task off of your busy schedule. Now to do this, we're going to use a third party plugin called Scheduler. So you need to get this installed onto the Moodle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn editing on. And in this case, I've just got a topic set up ready for it. So I'm going to add an activity or resource. And I'm going to add a scheduler. So it's this item here. Now you give it a name. And I'm using an example of using of doing one to one tutorials. You can put some text in the introduction. I'm just going to put a simple sentence, but you could put a lot more information in. Now, uh, the role name of the teacher, in my case, it's going to be teacher, so I don't need to change it, but you could change it to something else. Um, now, in terms of the mode, you can specify the number of time, number of sessions that students could book. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to have that they can book one scheduler. Um, or you can have it where it's set at a time. So if you set it so that they can book one at a time, they can book one. And then once that one has passed, they can then book another and then book another. I'm going to just set it so they just book the one the once. You can use uh, group bookings, in which case you just change that to yes. I'm going for individuals, so it will stay as no. Now, your guard time is the amount of time before a, a, an appointment that a student could make a change to a booking. So I'm going to set mine to 120 minutes, or I could have changed that to hours and done it to two hours either which way, so that students cannot book a, a, an appointment within the next two hours and if they've already booked an appointment they can't cancel their appointment um, unless they do so more than two hours it's just so that i as the teacher don't have any surprises where students are doing things two minutes before and then i'm not in the right place at the right time now you could set the default slot duration um, i'll just change mine to 30 minutes and i'm going to turn notifications on so that emails get sent both to me as the teacher and to the students when a booking is made we can set notes. So with this one here, you, you can set, set a note, sort of like a summary of the meeting. You can either have it where it is visible to both teacher and student, or you can have a confidential note. So it's stored within the system. The teacher sees it, but the student does it. Or you can have both types of notes. So I'm going to choo choose both types. It gives me the option of using either or. I don't have to, but if I set it, it means I can. Now you don't have to grade the activity, but if it was, let's say, some sort of assessed piece of work, you could specify that I'm going to have uh, just a not complete complete as a scale in my case. And I'm going to specify that the grade to pass is two, which basically means if I've chosen complete and I'm going to take the highest grade. So if they've completed the activity and I mark it as complete, it will show up as complete within Moodle. You can kind of build in a booking form where the students provide further information. I'm not going to do that in this case. You've got your usual common module settings, so you can choose whether to do separate groups, all groups and that sort of stuff. And you can restrict access. So I'm actually going to restrict mine to group A, so only the group A people will see it. And then activity completion. Because I'm using a grade, I can actually say that only those that have been marked as complete will then show as complete within the course. So I've set my basic shell up of the scheduler, but what I now need to do is specify the time slots that are available for the students. Now you could go add slots and add individual slots one at a time, but what's more useful for me is I'm going to add a repeated slot. So I'm going to set um, I'm going to have two days where I'm going to run um, 
uh, 30 minute tutorials. So I've got today and tomorrow. Um, if you were doing this over a period of um, like a repetitive thing, you could actually specify the days of the week. It doesn't matter here because it's just today and tomorrow. So Monday and Tuesday both ticked, so that's okay. I'm going to start at nine o'clock in the morning. I'm going to finish at five o'clock in the afternoon. It's going to divide it into slots. There's a 30 minute per slot, but I could change that if I wanted to. I'm going to have a 10 minute break between each one. Now, force when overlap, it's only if you sort of, if you kind of set up multiple um, repeat slots, you could end up with them overlapping. So if you choose yes, what will happen there is it will kind of manage that overlap and stop you from having two slots overlapping. If you choose no, it's possible that you could have two slots overlapping each other, which I'm guessing you don't want. I only want one student per slot, but you could have more or you could just have it in, totally turned off. You could specify a location, put your room number in and you can specify when the students can see the slots. Well, I want it appearing now. And then the reminder I'm going to set on the morning of the appointment. So when the students book an appointment on the morning of that appointment, they'll get an email saying, oh, you've got an appointment at this time. So I'm going to save changes. So what's happened now is it's automatically for me broken my two days into the half hour slots using the data that I entered. So it's a half hour with a 10 minute break, then there's the next one, 10 minute break, etc. Now, if I wanted to say, well, actually, I need a lunch break at some point, I'm just going to knock out the one o'clock appointment by hitting the trash can to delete it. And same again. So now that I've set up my scheduler, as the teacher, if I wanted to, I could actually allocate students to slots by clicking on uh, the head and then choosing the student. But what's more use, usual is for the students to book them themselves. So I'm just going to switch to my student view. And here's my student view and this activity I've just created appears here. So when the student comes in, they can see the list of the available slots, who the teacher is, and they can choose which one they want to book. So I'm going to book that slot there. So they've now got this slot booked. They then don't see the others. They could, if they want to, cancel the booking. And if they cancel it, they don't be able to rebook. I'll just jump back to the teacher view. So you can now see that that particular slot has been allocated to that particular student. And no other students can now book it because that's been taken. If I go back to my student view, if I go back to the course page, I've enabled the calendar. So from the student's perspective, that item will appear within their calendar. They'll get an email notification on the morning of the meeting. If the student needs to come in and change it, they can come in and cancel the booking and then they can book a different slot. And then I, as the teacher, when I refresh this, I'll see that that booking has been released. That can be booked for somebody else. And the student has now booked this new slot down here. So that's how we set up our activity. If I click on the edit cog next to each of the items, I can actually sort of make some further changes. But what's most important here is after the meeting has taken place, I can grade the student. So if they've completed, I can mark it as complete. I've got the comments that I can add in there if I want to. Um, and I've got the notes. So notes, these bits will be visible to students. These will be for teachers view only. So I can show that there. Oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong box. This one here. So for Dave's student, notes the appointment visible to students go in that box. Confidential notes go in that box. And then you save changes once done. That will now mark as complete for the particular student. So that's how we use the scheduler. It's a very simple tool very very useful for reducing the workload on the teachers i'm dave ford if you wish to get in touch then please look at my contact details on the screen i'm based in the uk but i work with organizations all over the globe providing consultancy training and resource development services mainly in the areas of moodle and tatara